Hey folks, <laughs> this is Ether, and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Anakin Dude Cool, and he's in his Object 263. This is a Tier 9 game on Runeberg. This used to be the Tier 10 um, Russian tank destroyer, and it was cool. It was my favorite tank destroyer of all time. It was one of my favorite tanks of all time at that point. And then they murdered it. And now it's a tier 9, um, and it's not nearly as awesome. Um, and so, if Anakin wants to carry this game, he's going to have to work for it. Um, though parking up on a corner like this where boy, his gun mantle is obvious, is actually not as much of a, uh, a good idea <laughs> as you might think. Though, I like this position. Ooh, I'm sorry, we missed that shot. But anyways, I want to tell you about the weak points on this tank. Um, I don't have the map viewer ready to go, so I can't actually do that overlay. But basically, um, you can hit, if you can hit the lower glacis, that's great. Otherwise, don't bother with any of this. The gun mantle is the only place you want to be shooting this tank if you can't see the lower glacis. Because this is the weakest part of its uh, upper glacis armor. Um... And if you can launch an HE shell and hit the inside of here, you will do great damage. Uh, the sides are basically paper and made of Amorax. And the back, we're not even going to talk about it being armor. So, yeah, that's that kill this thing. If you're wondering. Nice shot into the poor AMX over there. Who didn't think that his day would start off like this when he got into this game. Though he is a tier 7 and a tier 9 game. I'm sure he didn't think he was going to be launched. Now, the, um, the E5 <laughs> Patriot over there is, um, gonna, gonna cause an issue if, uh, ooh, ooh it's a T95. T95 is fired, we're just gonna, oh, T95 gives us the side, unfortunately, can't take advantage of it, can have our punch around through his lower glacis, and I don't know what this Tiger P thinks he's doing, but he gets lucky and doesn't die, doesn't actually get hit. For the first uh, T95 show, and then Anakin's be is a really cool guy and backs out and absorbs the next show. Now T95 has got to be looking for our weak spots. Um, I'm hoping he's aiming for the the weak spots, the ones that look like weak spots. Yes, that's what exactly what he's aiming for. He's aiming for this little box here that looks like it's a, a viewport. It's not. It it has it exactly the same armoring as the rest of his armor. Don't aim for this. Aim for the gun mantle. T95 doesn't know this. Oh! I just noticed when I did that. We got a defender behind us. If you look at the map, you can see they're, they're all over our place. And that defender is going to cause us trouble in a minute. No! Anakin backs right up up against the, uh, the dead tank behind him actually managing to bounce all those shots reloads in time to take it the t95 pushes forward ooh, and then plays the defender nicely backs up right past him taking his tracks off in the meantime and now he's getting some he fire but with the defender on the right side of him he's just able to toy with the guy take his tracks off and continue moving this tank is incredibly mobile uh, he's about to run out of premium rounds if he's not careful he should be switching off them. He doesn't need them to take this defender out. T44, realizing the issue, comes charging in. It's a bit late, however, and they're not putting clean shots in. So even though they had his side, they're wasting shells on the front armor of this thing, which is just invulnerable as far as these guys are concerned. One shell into the side of his tank does some actual damage for the first time in a while, but this T44 is alone against him, and... Anakin is not going to let this guy get his side armor. He's just going to keep spinning around and shooting him. And this guy can only take one more shell, and that is done. It done. Done deal. Okay, his teams are all tied up right now, but with Anakin free to move around as much as he wants to, he's putting his last shell into the E5. Last gold shell. I'm going to assume he forgot he was still holding gold. Which is why he fired it so much. Uh, he didn't need it for most of that fight. 
Uh, but he did need to kill the T95, or at least it helped a lot to kill the T95. It would really be nice, though, if he had some for this T10. I'm just going to assume he, he forgot because of the adrenaline situation, right? We all get into situations where we forget what's going on in the game, we forget little details like whether or not we have gold loaded. Um, especially when it's that close and you can't necessarily see how fast your shells are flying. Um, chasing the T10 down. This thing is actually fast enough that it can do that, assuming we don't get a 110 in the way anyway. He's being cautious because we only know where half of the remaining tanks are. And this poor T25 is not going to like what happens. Oh, as we miss! <laughs> that shell flew in front of him because he led too much. But now we know there's an IKV down the end of this row. Uh, no way we get this kill. Okay, apparently we get this kill. It was donated by the nice team who uh, apparently didn't want to take it. Um, and somebody's going to shoot this guy and then we're going to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how that goes. And now there's only three enemies left. The Scorpion G being the most deadly, but we know where he is, so we can safely move up. We're going to speed this up a little bit, because as fast as this tank is, it ain't that fast. Um, and, you know, actually, I guess we still have plenty of time left on this replay. Uh, there will actually be a, a bonus clip after this replay, because it's going to go quite fast, but that's okay. Come on, can we hit the hawk? We can't. He just scoots out of view. And unfortunately, there's only one enemy left, so we're not going to get anything better than a Top Gun. But oh well. Uh, he asked for the platoon with the Conqueror, because of course, Brothers in Arms is a possibility right now. Assuming the Conqueror accepts, we just get a Brothers in Arms, which would be really nice. Now, the Scorpion G cannot kill us in one shot. So uh, Anakin just can just plow over this ridge, no questions asked, no worries at all. Scorpion isn't even aiming the right way, does pull the trigger in time. Oh, yeah. 600. What was that? Yeah, 670 damage in a single shell. I forgot we could roll that high. <laughs> and uh, that was awesome. Poor Scorpion G. <laughs> okay, let's jump over and see what his battle results are. <laughs> Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Duos, Fire for Effect, Shellproof, Cool Headed, Brothers in Arms, till the, the Conqueror did join the platoon, Steel Wall, High Cover, and Top Gun. And just wow. The amount of things that bounced us, I don't understand why the T95 only shot us twice. And, and bounced us both times, and then the T44 just refused to shoot anywhere except for the, our frontal armor, and I don't get, understand why. Almost 7,000 damage done. Way above everyone else on his team. I mean, most of the team didn't even do 1,000 damage, and then 1,500 is, is like two-thirds of the team. <laughs> the Conqueror barely scraped by 2,000. Uh, actually, props to the 110 if you're a tier 8 and you can do this much damage in a tier 9 game. You're doing something right. But wow, that game though. Actually, making money despite spending all of his premium credits or all of his premium ammo. Actually, look at that. That's beautiful. This is crazy. I can't, man, I can't believe that many people shot him in the front of the tank. Knowing how just impenetrable the front of this tank is. And this is the, the, the really crazy thing. Almost 17,000 experience earned uh, because of some really cool um, payout or something. So that was awesome. Thank you so much, Anakin, for saying this. And this was a, a just amazing game all around. And I can't wait uh, for everybody else to see it. And I can't wait to see your next one because that ought to be awesome too. So, as it turns out, this video is actually going on long enough that there's not going to be a bonus clip because I talk too much. But, um, thank you anyway. Oh, one last thing before I disappear. If you are following me on Twitch, make sure you go check your Twitch messages because I have messaged the winner of the $25 GameStop giveaway card. So, yeah. Check your messages. Uh, yeah. 
Thanks very much. Have a great day. This IOE throughout.